What's up, Meth fans? Welcome back. Talking Mets at Rob. How's everybody doing? Before I get started talking about the Mets and Lindor with their negotiations and why the Mets have no choice but to sign Francisco Lindor, it is now or never. If you enjoyed this video, guys, hit on that like button. If you enjoy my videos, like my content, want to get notified when I go live and when I post my videos, guys, hit on that subscribe button, everybody. All right, guys. So why is it now or never for the New York Mets to sign and extend Lindor for the next eight to ten years? A few reasons for that. Number one, the Mets traded all their major league shortstops on their roster for Francisco Lindor. We know who they are. It is Ahmed Rosario and Andres Jimenez. Those two guys could have been the Mets' everyday shortstop if they never made that trade for Lindor. Clearly, Jimenez showed himself last year in 2020, showed that he can be an everyday shortstop, basically took over the starting role when Rosario was struggling. When you trade both of those guys who, let's be honest, were the one Rosario was the number one overall prospect before he came up with the Mets. And Jimenez was the number one prospect, the number two prospect for the New York Mets. So you gave up two of your starting shortstops for Francisco Lindor. And then when they made that trade, for Lindor, Sandy Alden said he would be okay if it is only a one-year deal with Lindor. That makes absolutely no sense, everybody. Makes no sense. The reason why it's now or never is because you gave up all your shortstops. Now, granted, I know there's other shortstops on the market after the 2021 season in Carlos Correa, Javier Baez, and... Last but not least, Trevor Story. So I know there's guys that can be on the open market next year, but we really don't know what next year is going to look like with the CBA and the fight that the players and the owners are going to have. So why are you going to make a trade for an all-star star shortstop in Francisco Lindor and you're not going to do everything you can to sign him? Sandy Alderson worries me because you don't make a comment like that and think that is okay. It is not okay, guys. Francisco Lindor needs to be in Met for the next eight to 10 years. Get it done, Sandy. Get it done. Now or never. I truly believe that Javier Baez is probably going to stay with the Chicago Cubs, I think they're going to lock him up. Probably not during the season, but I think they're going to re-sign him when he becomes a free agent. Trevor's story is 50-50, but I feel like the Rockies, after trading Arenado, have to make Trevor's story the face of the franchise and sign him to an extension. So that leaves one guy, and that is Carlos Correa. He is the youngest out of the bunch, but I do not really like Carlos Correa, especially when he didn't look as good after they figured out that they were cheating. I don't trust Carlos Correa. He's very good defensively, but with the bat, he scares me the last couple of years when he didn't look so good after the whole cheating scandal came out. My biggest issue is that Francisco Lindor, you made, you did everything you can to make this trade and give up what you had to give up. Nobody says that it was the moon and the stars to give up what they gave up from Lindor. But Rosario and Jimenez was a big piece of your infield for the next couple of years. So making that trade made no sense unless you were going to 100% sign Francisco Lindor. Now, granted, Francisco Lindor is going to be asking for $300 plus million. I completely understand that. But the caliber of player Francisco Lindor is defensively and offensively and putting this guy in the lineup that in second, as we've seen what Rojas has been doing with him in spring training, Francisco Lindor is a could be one of the best shortstops in the game. According to Francisco Lindor, he believes he's the best all-around shortstop in the game. Now, you can argue about that every day of the week, who the best shortstop is, all-around shortstop is, but he truly believes that. 
And I believe that he is one of the best in the league. And you don't let a talent like that get away. The Mets have problems letting these talents get in the way. We've seen it with Jose Reyes. We've seen it with many other players with the Mets when even their, even their guys that they brought up, they didn't sign them. They went somewhere else. I know you could say, well, if they don't sign Lindor, and what happens if they lose out on every one of those shortstops? Well, then you have options like Ronnie Mauricio, who is the top prospect in the Mets system. That's all great and nice. But at the end of the day, he is still a prospect. We don't know what he's going to be. He's shown well when he played in spring training this year. But at the end of the day, we don't know until he comes up to the big leagues, until pitchers start to see him again and again, and they adjust. And if that player and that hitter, and Mar- like Mauricio, doesn't adjust, to what the pitchers are, are adjusting to him, then Mauricio is not going to be the guy we thought he was. So you can't rely on that right now. You got one of the best shortstops in the game. You lock him up. It is now or never for the New York Mets and Sandy Olsen to get this deal done. And do not let this go into the season because Francisco Lindor has said he will not negotiate when the season starts. So what does that mean? There's 15 days until opening day, April 1st, in Washington against the Nationals. So the Mets have two weeks to negotiate a contract with Francisco Lindor. I believe they will get it done. I think Sandy Olsen is a lot of talk when he said that. I don't know why he said that, that he would be okay when if Lindor left after the season. Makes no sense. Maybe it was just talk to, you know, maybe as like one of that little sarcasm that Sandy Olsen does in his dry jokes. But let's be honest. Stop scaring Met fans. Stop making us worry. Can we go into a season not worrying about Francisco Lindor and who knows if he's going to sign or not? And then we're going to have to hear this all year during the season. Not only do you have to worry about the Lindor problem and the extension, you got to worry about Michael Conforto, who seems like he don't mind coming back to the Mets and extending with the Mets. But that's probably going to go into the season for sure. Because the Mets seem like they're focused on Francisco Lindor. So you have to look at Michael Conforto during the season. So if you do not sign Francisco Lindor to an extension, you're going to have all these reporters going on and on. Are you going to continue to be a Met? Are are you going to try to talk during the season? You're going to hear this about Lindor. You're going to hear it about Conforto. You're going to hear it about Noah Syndergaard when he comes back. If Noah Syndergaard starts pitching well, now you're going to have to wonder, well, are the Mets going to try to sign him? before he hits the free agency. So you're going to have to worry about three guys, three big part, big pieces to this team. You're going to hear this during the season, every game. I want to focus on winning the big W. I want to focus on winning the division, winning the NL East. I want to focus on making the playoffs. I don't want to focus on when the Mets have a bad game or the Mets are struggling, going through a loser streak, you're going to have to hear, well, the Mets ha- didn't sign Lindor during the offseason, during spring training. So now what are they going to do? Now you have to worry about Conforto. Now you have to worry about Lindor. Now you have to worry about Syndergaard. You possibly have to worry about Stroman. There's so many things that you're going to have to worry about during the season. When we- What we should be laser focused on is winning, is making sure – This team comes out of the gate strong in April, have a really good first half, come out strong in the first half because the last couple of years, it's been a disaster in the first half. Instead of, besides 2018, when the Mets were 11 and two coming out of the, coming out of the season in April, even though they they fell apart in the second half, it's something to see. It's something to, to make sure that the Mets come out strong in the first half of the season and especially in April. And we don't need as Mets fans to worry about, oh my God, they're not sign Lindor. What happens if they can't sign Lindor in free agency? The Mets are going to get somewhat of a discount if they sign Lindor to an extension now. Because if say the end of the day, the Mets team friendly can be about 10 years, 310 million, nine years, 315 million around that area. If he goes to free agency and now you're going to have all the teams bidding, the price is going to go up. So the Mets are going to save a couple of million dollars, maybe $10, $20 million if you extend him now. And there's no guarantee bidding against other teams for Javier Baez or Trevor Story or Carlos Correa, 
you're going to pay top dollar, maybe overpay for a player that might not be as good as Francisco Lindor. So you're going to have to bid against other teams. You're going to have to pay more for other players for another shortstop that you don't want to overpay for while you have Francisco Lindor on your team and you have exclusive negotiating negotiation rights with this player because he's on your team. Take advantage of that. Save 10 to $20 million because you know for a fact if Lindor hit free agency, there's going to be other teams bidding who are desperate, desperately looking for a shortstop. And that's teams that are losing shortstops, such as the Cubs, the Rockies, the Astros. Why wouldn't they want to spend big money on bringing in a guy like Francisco Lindor? The Mets have the opportunity to exclusively talk to Lindor and get this deal done and save a couple of million dollars without going to a bidding war with another team for Francisco Lindor. So, guys, it's now or never for the New York Mets and Sandy Alderson. They have two weeks left until the start of the season against the Washington Nationals to get this deal done. Let's make it happen, Sandy. Let's go. This is what we need. Put this guy as a, one of the faces of the franchise, one of the best players in the league on this team for eight to ten years. That is my thoughts about the Francisco Lindor Mets extension. Let's get it done, Sandy. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, guys, hit on that like button. I really appreciate it if you hit that like button. If you enjoy all my videos, want to see more, and you want to get notified when I post my videos and when I go live, guys, Hit on that subscribe button, everybody. I want to thank you guys for watching. Sandy, get it done. Now or never. As always, Mets fans, let's go Mets.